Hey, what's up? Welcome to Unbox Miss Prime, and today we have something very special. We have a set of action figures that haven't even hit the shelves yet, and it was a very, very lucky find. Uh, we're not going to tell you where we found them, just to still keep it a little bit of a secret. Um, but it was very lucky that we were able to find these. So as you see before you, we have a very plain and crappy digital curtain. Let's lift it to reveal what we have. Ta star wars the last jedi action figures so again we were able to find these things it's so exciting to see it i'm so hyped for this movie i am pretty much the star wars fan of the crew so being able to find these was like striking gold like forget the lottery being a billion million gajillion dollars this is like this is a lottery for me right here so we have 10 action figures in all. There are two that are off frame. We're going to take a look at all of them and we're going to discuss what they possibly could be, even though most of the characters we already know. So uh, I'm going to set all these aside. We'll take a look at them one by one in the packaging and then we'll take them out of the packaging and uh, go over them in detail. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a random figure from the pile and we're going to take a look at what it is. So here we have Chewbacca. So... We have Chewie, Han Solo's life mate, I guess if you want to say best friend. And uh, spoilers if you haven't seen The Force Awakens, well, Han Solo dies. I'm sorry. I warned you. And uh, who knows what role Chewie will play. Who knows if he will survive or not. Uh, this is all pretty much just all speculation at this point. I'm, I haven't read one spoiler. I refuse to read any spoilers. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging real quick. We have Chewbacca. In this package and these are kind of like your little i'm not going to say cheap action figures but these are pretty much like the more economical action figures uh they're not anything like the black series honestly the detail on chewbacca is actually not that bad uh so you see chewy right there he's got his bow caster and there's also another character that's in the movie it looks like an animal of some sort i'm not sure what it is or who it is or what role this character plays it could be a pet of Chewbacca's. It could be a friend of Chewbacca's that he meets along the way. Not sure, so we'll have to wait till the movie comes out in order to see. Uh, Force Link. The things with these, and I'll show you on the back, is that you're supposed to get this little wristband that you know goes on your wrist, and then uh, it's supposed to play sounds from each one of these action figures, certain dialogue, I guess, or different sounds. So um, I haven't found that. I was only able to find the figures. So we'll have to wait and get that as well. And then I can do a demonstration on how that works. So we have uh, Chewbacca. And there's a picture of good old Chewie. Fierce Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah. Warning. Choking hazard. That's pretty much that little guy and that guy. Unless you try and swallow this guy. Then you'll good luck with that. Uh, Disney. We have Hasbro. And uh, pretty much it, uh, Star Wars with the red logo, very ominous. I wonder if that's going to represent something. Pretty much because it's called The Last Jedi, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, ages 4 and up. And uh, let's take a look at the back. Oh, we also have uh, a picture of that wrist thing that's supposed to make noise for each one of the characters. And we have Chewie with his bowcaster. And on the back here, it says Star Wars up top. Uh, here it says, requires force link, pictured here, sold separately, available in starter set. So what could this starter set be? I'm not quite sure, but we'll eventually find out probably when they premiere the toys this Friday. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wear force link to activate sounds. And there's also a little picture right here that shows the force link that's supposed to activate sounds. How does it work? I have no clue. And there's also, you know, Lucasfilm, Made in China, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Choking Hazard, or a.k.a. Legal Garb. Uh, Disney and Hasbro on the back. It includes figure, three accessories, and instructions. So when we crack this thing open... In fact, let's just crack it open right now. Let's take a look. This is going to be an actual unboxing from us. So let's take a look. Open this up butcher the hell out of it so down here we have the instructions we'll pull Chewie out there goes his bowcaster let's see if we can get this guy out put the packaging aside 
So we have the instructions here. It'll probably tell you how to use the wrist thingamabobber, the force link. Let's see, there's instructions. Tap the force link. I have no idea what any of this is. It'll be quite interesting. Pick up figure to activate phrases. See hand placement. So you're supposed to hold them like that, I guess. It's weird. Uh, move figure forward. I'm reading from the camera here. Sorry. Move figure forward or from side to side to activate additional effects. So that'll be interesting. You can see there's a picture of that there. And it says continue tapping force link for more sounds. So you'll probably get a whole bunch of additional sound effects. Maybe blasters, lightsabers. Who knows? Uh, there's tips. Pretty much uh, requires force link available in starter set sold separately. Force link goes to sleep after five minutes of non-use. If toy does not react to force link, adjust hand placement to match image. So uh, I can't wait to see if I can find this force link somewhere. But there's also a picture of the force link. Uh, pretty much that it requires the force link. So uh, warnings. That's it. Disney Hasbro. And blah, 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 blah. But this thing seems very interesting. I'm wondering if it represents a set piece of some sort. This kind of almost reminds me of the Death Star for some strange reason. And this part may be part of the trench of the Death Star. Or Star Killer Base, however you want to say it. Uh, because they're pretty much <laughs> one and the same thing, if you think about it. So that's the instructions. Let's take a look at Chewbacca. Packaging. Let's get this other little character out of here as well. So let's take a look at Chewie. It's actually got some nice detail for like one of the, I guess, quote unquote, lower end figures. A lot of nice detail on the sculpt down here towards, I guess, the main. Let's take a look at that. It actually doesn't look half bad. It actually kind of looks like a mini figure. Like a, I don't want to say mini person in there, but, you know, it actually does kind of look like there's somebody in there. So that's that's really cool. Nice detail in the teeth, especially in the eyes and the nose. That really makes it look like Chewbacca. Uh, he's got his little belt here. Move his arm up. He's got his little satchel. And he's pretty much just like one solid figure. And as I can tell from articulation, he's pretty much just got movement in the hips here. And he's got movement in the shoulder on both sides. There's no elbow, nothing for the hands. The hands, this is actually really nice. They actually show as if his hands have been covered up. That's actually really cool. It kind of looks like that from that side. And when you look at that on this side, he's got his hands there. It's really cool. His head, um, his head doesn't move. I'm going to say it like doesn't move at all. Uh, it's pretty much just stationary. So this is a great display piece. Like maybe if you do like a diorama of some sort. But let's take a look at the accessory here. His bow caster, which kind of just fell apart. Okay, whew. for a second there, I thought the bow caster broke. But it's just falling apart really badly. As another piece just fell off. So <laughs> here's part of the bow caster. Here's the bow part. It actually connects. There's a little notch I see right there, or a little slot, and a notch up front here. I think it just connects like that. So it should, oh, I think it goes this way, maybe? No, it goes this way. Okay, and then the uh, scope, I guess, fell off. Is this the scope? Yes, yeah, it looks like a scope. That kind of just fell off up here. So uh, that's quite interesting how it just like fell apart right out of the package. But you should be able to fit it in his hand here. Or if we see which hand would it go in. It would probably go maybe, let's say in this hand. If you can get it in his hand there. Okay, so I'm actually not quite sure how this thing goes into his hand. Uh, maybe back here like so. Uh, I would assume... Let's see, does it go something like that? This seems to be the only way that he can actually hold this thing. Even though, if you look on the packaging here, it kind of does not look like that. But I can't get it to make it fit in his hand. So, 
Let me see if maybe... Oh, and there it goes falling apart again. Okay, so I've kind of officially given up trying to get this thing into his hand, but um, for some reason it's not it's not cooperating with me. I wonder if just that the it's the hand is not open enough for it to go in, because you see I'm kind of struggling here. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I mean, it's probably just because I'm an idiot, but... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip that. Uh, let's put the bowcaster back together real quick. Okay, so we got the bowcaster back together. It's kind of a little flimsy and falling apart, but it's all right. This is gonna be a display piece for me anyway, so I'm gonna put that there. And the other accessory that comes with Chewbacca is this creature. I have no idea what he is. He kind of looks like a bird. Of some sort. Kind of like a penguin pigeon mix. I'm not quite sure. Uh, there's an official name for it. Which I actually don't know at the moment. Um, if I could focus in here. Let me see if I can get this to focus. So that's what it looks like. Which is quite interesting. I don't know what it is. But that's what that is. Yeah. It's a thing. But we'll find out eventually when the movie comes out, or maybe they might mention it in some of the trailers, so we'll take a look. But in the meantime, let's pull out another figure and take a look. Okay, so the next figure I'm going to grab is General Hux. So, as you know, he's pretty much uh, the right-hand man, or the commander of the First Order. He's played by that guy. I forgot his name already. Jeez, that's sad. Um, but let's take a look at the packaging, too. So we have General Hux in there with that serious face and that ginger hair. We have a little blaster and one of these little droids that uh, Chewbacca actually scares off in the, was it New Hope? If you guys remember, he's kind of like, Rawr! and the thing just like, Rawr! and backs away. So you can probably reenact it with this and uh, Chewbacca here. So uh, Force Link, once again, Choking Hazard. You know, got to be careful of those small parts around children. Disney, Hasbro, General Hux. There's a picture of him right there. Uh, Star Wars, ages four and up. Most of these boxes are exactly the same, but I'm still going to show it to you anyway. And pretty much the same thing with the Force Link. You have General Hux. Uh, here it shows Kylo Ren. I forgot to mention that in the other box. So legal garb, Disney, Hasbro. Includes figure and two accessories. So that, that's pretty much the same thing as the other one. So let's crack him open. So again, we have the same instructions. See if there's anything different on this one, maybe. Uh, no, pretty much same thing. Same exact thing. So we'll just put that aside. And let's take Hux. And his accessories out of here. Put this down here. If we take a look at General Hux, there he is with a very serious face. So I wonder if he's going to be more of like a, uh, a badass in this film. Like he's really going to take control. Maybe mess around with Kylo a little bit and uh, try and maybe take over. Well, I'm pretty sure he'll bow down to Snoke at all costs as he seems to kiss his butt in The Force Awakens. So who knows. But he's got his like ginger brown hair. Uh, I think it's more ginger. Obviously, it's just an action figure. This one's not totally accurate looking, but I mean, look at that face. He means business. Uh, he's got a trench coat, which is kind of like rubbery. It's a little flexible. It's actually really nice looking, too. It's got nice cuts in the mold back here and here, and it's actually kind of got like a nice that nice rubbery feel. And it actually kind of looks like actual material. So does this thing actually even come off? Looks like it comes off. Maybe not. It kind of looks like this thing comes off, but I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, we take a look. We got the first order symbol right there. Uh, we have some detailing going on on the wrist right there on the jacket here. Uh, he's got his hand pose right there. He's also sporting what kind of looks like the old Imperial type of uh, uniform in a way, but all black. He's got like the little belt in the middle there. His boots and his leather pants. He's stylish, let me tell you. 
Uh, that's really it. Articulation is pretty much the same. He's only got movement in the shoulders right there. And he's got a little movement in the hip. And that's it. There's no turning, nothing. His head does swivel, though. Which is cool. But not too far, because I can kind of tell it's like... Oh, I guess he can do a full exorcist right there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but let's take a look at his accessories. I'm going to put them down right here. Comes with a little blaster pistol. You can take a look at that right there. His little blaster pistol. There's actually some pretty nice detail going on for a tiny little piece of plastic. It's actually really nice looking. Detail, I guess this must be like the Picatinny rail or something like that. He's got like a little, almost kind of looks like a coyote sight from the top up here or a holographic sight, but probably not. Probably just your typical iron sight really cool and then we have the little droid here so there's a little little bit of detailing going on over there as well as something going on on the top I think it's probably like antennas or something and the wheels actually roll you can see that but they're actually spinning so he kind of kind of spins a little bit there it's really cool so let's put his gun in his hand and he's ready he's ready for action So he's got that and his little droid right there. So that's actually kind of cool. He's pretty cool looking. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait for like a Black Series version of this. This would be really awesome. So that's pretty much... I'm really digging like the coat, the trench coat. That has like such nice detail. It's almost like matted. But with that matting, it actually gives it such fantastic detail. It's really nice looking. And I also just noticed that it actually doesn't go over his whole sleeve. It's kind of faked a little bit. So it's pretty much almost like a vest, like a vest coat, vest trench coat, vest coat. Why not? So that's actually really cool. So there's that. And there's also like the little wave down here, you know, to imitate, I guess, like wind. So that is pretty cool. So let's take these guys and we'll put them aside and let's grab another figure. Okay, so the next figure I grabbed is Resistance Gunner Page. Um, I have no idea who this character is. Um, I'm not sure what role she plays. I don't even know who the actress is, um, which is something I should have looked up beforehand, but I was so excited to do this video, I just couldn't wait. So again, we'll take a look at the packaging. You know, it says Force Link. There's the character. Kind of looks kind of bug-eyed which is a little weird uh, she comes with a helmet and a gun and uh, pretty nice detailing going on in there i can't wait to take a closer look but here it says uh, resistance gunner page so again i'm not quite sure what she does uh, i guess she's a gunner but what does she gun does she gun the millennium falcon does she gun a special resistance ship I'm not sure uh, we got uh, warning labels for the small parts disney hasbro a picture of Paige here. I'll probably wind up leaving um, the names of the actors and actresses up on the screen here somewhere. So uh, we got the Star Wars red logo, ages four and up, and the back is pretty much the same except the character, the figure has been replaced with this character. So uh, pretty much the same thing. There's no descriptions on any of these characters in here. Uh, so. You know, that's something I really would have liked to have seen, but I guess these are, like like I said, your basic figures. They're not, like, any spoilers or anything like that. So, all right, let's crack this one open. Let's get the figure out. A lot of nice detailing going on, especially with all, like, the wrinkles and stuff in the, the uniform, which is really cool. Uh, we have a little chest piece right there. Get that focus. So we have like a little chest piece right there. We have a mouth guard right here, or like a I guess a oxygen breather thing. Forgot what these are actually called, but you know I guess I would go over her face like that. Uh, we have her face right here. The eyes are a little bit weird, but there's actually nice detailing in the nose and the mouth. So that's really cool. Looks like she's got like a little scarf going on right there really nice this one actually almost looks pretty reminiscent of uh luke skywalker from like empire strikes back or anytime he's in his like little jumpsuit so that's pretty cool 
Uh, she's got like this little pilot's helmet on, which is really nice. There's a lot of uh, detail engraved in the mold up here, especially going around up there, which is really cool. Uh, the belt is actually pretty nicely detailed. If you take a look at that, you know, got like a little belt buckle. That's cool. Articulation is the same, only in the shoulder, the hips, and the head turns a full 360, but you don't want to do that. So that is really cool. So let's pop this helmet on. This helmet actually looks really cool. Nicely detailed. Kind of looks like, what is that, racing type stuff going on? I'm not sure. There's like a little black piece that's back here. I think these little holes here are maybe where this part clips in. So let's actually take a look. Let's put it on her. Or does, does this bit come off? Find out. Nope, that's on there. I don't want to break that. But let's actually see if we can get this on her head here. Like so. So she's got her protective helmet on. She does look like a resistance fighter. Maybe, just maybe, does this... Oh, yep. There's a little notch right there. And a tab right there. Looks like it kind of just tabs in like so. It's a little bit, the, the mouthpiece is mainly like all rubber. So it's very, very flexible. Okay, so I had to do it off camera, but I finally got the mouthpiece to fit into the helmet. So that's what she looks like. She looks like a real pilot, which is a nice touch. Although I kind of want to be very careful down here. It looks like it's not really reinforced that much over there. If I can get that to focus anymore, but... It doesn't look too reinforced, so I want to be very careful with that as much as possible. But uh, the helmet is kind of like pushed up a little bit, but that is quite interesting. That's actually a really nice, nice figure. I wonder if she's going to wind up coming with a uh, uh, her own plane or something like that. So uh, she also has a resistance. Well, it's actually not even the resistance. It's pretty much part of the original Rebellion. So we got the Rebellion logo right there. I think it's also the resistance. Um, I actually can't remember for some strange reason. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, let's take a look at the gun here. Which is just a little pistol. Painted gray. Let's see if we can get that to focus a little more. A little bit of detailing going on in the handle there. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see what it looks like in the movie. And again, it would just slot right into her hand right here. So, you know, now she's ready for battle as well. So this is a pretty nifty little character. I can't wait to see what her role is in the movie and uh, how much screen time she gets. So that'd be, that'd be really cool. And again, she also has the, uh, the Force Link logo looking thingy there at the bottom. So that's really cool. So I'll put this one aside. And let's grab another. Okay, so next up we have Resistance Tech Rose. Um, again, I'm not too sure who this character is going to be, uh, what her role is. Uh, I heard rumor that she's supposed to be Finn's love interest. So let's see uh, how that plays out. I think it would be really cool. But uh, it was rumored that she's his love interest. And even in part of the trailer behind the scenes, you could see they kind of have like a little flirty type of chemistry going on so we'll see what happens with that again i don't remember the actress's name that plays this i'll put it up on the screen here but uh, again we'll take a look at the packaging so it says force link and there she is in there in her packaging she's got like a little thing i don't know what that is kind of almost <laughs> looks like a sonic screwdriver from doctor who but obviously that's not what it is uh, she comes with a really nice, looks like a, I don't know what type of gun that would be, like a machine gun type thing or a heavy blaster, probably. Uh, it says Star Wars, four and up. Uh, and there's a picture of the character, actress, right there. And there's that thing that she's holding uh, that's in the packaging right there. I don't know what it is. It's probably something to maybe fix something. Uh, Resistance Tech Rose. Again, don't know what the character is. We have the Choking Hazard Warning, Disney and Hasbro. And the same stuff on the back with the character just replaced. 
So let's crack this one open and take a look. Let's get Rose out of here. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure first. A lot of, there's actually really good detail in the face on this character. The nose, the mouth, and the eyes, the face proportions are actually really good. I'm very shocked. Uh, if you can see the detail in the face there. It's actually really nice. There we go, that's a lot better. So you can see there's a lot of nice detail in the face there. Uh, the hair is pretty much static. She's got a little bit of a ponytail there. Uh, there is some writing, I guess. I don't know exactly what the language is called. I totally forgot. Uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I barely know what the language is. Isn't that sad? Although George Lucas did technically change it with the special edition, so it's okay if I don't know this. Um, but there's also kind of looks like one of those medals, maybe, or the Star Wars version of a pocket protector. I'm not sure. Uh, she's also got the same thing. Maybe they're for tools, possibly. But there's also the same thing on the side arm here. If I can get that to focus... You know, if you guys know anything about these characters, post it in the comments below. I'm most likely not going to read it because I don't want to know any spoilers about this because I'm so hyped for this. But, um, yeah, so we have the belt. And I see there looks to be a little notch there. So that's probably, I've noticed on the little accessory here that there's actually a little tab right there. You can see that, but we'll go over this in one second. Uh, a lot of nice detailing going on in the mold here, showing that it is a crumpled uniform. It looks like she's got a little side pocket right there. Uh, the back is pretty much, looks like she's got a hood. That's actually really cool. There's like a hood molded onto the figure, which is really nice. Cool, if maybe I could take it and put the hood over her head. So that'd be awesome. And the Force Link logo right there. So again, she has the gun here. Let's put that in her hand. Actually, let's take a look at the gun first, which is actually really cool. Pretty nicely detailed. Take a look at that. Really nice. So we can put the gun in her hand here. If we put that like that, you know, she's ready for battle. Let's take a look at this little f device here. It is very, very tiny and very, very like fragile in a way. So I'm not sure. This might be a tool that she uses to fix stuff. Maybe she zaps people with it. I'm not sure. But again, it's also got that little notch on the side there. And you probably plug it in to the side right here for storage. The plastic is very thin. It's almost rubber-like, but uh, so it probably just hangs off the side like this. So, so that is Resistance Tech Rose. Again, don't know anything about this character, but we will soon find out, possibly in upcoming trailers or when the movie comes out. So, let's grab another figure. Okay, so the next one we have is the Stormtrooper. We all know the First Order Stormtrooper, what they look like. We know that Finn was a Former First Order Stormtrooper that, I guess he, what do they call it, defective, deflective, uh, defect. Uh, basically, he said, screw the, screw the First Order, I'm going with the Resistance. Even though he doesn't want to, he just wants to get as far away as possible. But we'll take a look at this real quick. Uh, packaging is pretty much the same, Force Link. We have the Stormtrooper in packaging right there with several guns. Star Wars, ages four and up. We have a picture of the Stormtrooper right there. And it says First Order Stormtrooper. Choking Hazards, Disney and Hasbro. That sounded horrible. I'm sorry, Disney and Hasbro, but yeah, Choking Hazard. And the back is the same. Character replacement. So let's get this guy out of here. Okay, so let's take a look at the First Order Stormtrooper. So it's your, pretty much your basic First Order Stormtrooper. If you've seen him in the movie, this is exactly what it is. Uh, not much detailing going on in the face here. Although this kind of looks like he has more, uh, or the Stormtrooper helmet has more of like a V-shape. I don't remember it having such a V-shape. 
Well, actually, I have a four foot one that's standing right next to me. So let me take a look at that one. That's from The Force Awakens. And yeah, it kind of does got like a little bit of a V shape. Although this is, like I said, a lower end action figure. So uh, the V shape is more of an actual V shape rather than kind of like a, a W. How about that? It's supposed to look like a W. But this has more of a point. So that's not bad. If we go in closer here, see there's a little bit of detail going on right over here there's some like little notches going on in there the visor but yeah we have some detailing going on here in the chest piece uh, there's actually some ridges going on in the shoulder here so that's really cool same thing with the elbows here we have your usual stormtrooper utility belt which is actually really cool this one is actually fairly nice and detailed it's like white on black which is really cool and we have this thing which i have no idea what it is uh, I never do. You have the Force Link logo right there. Detailing going on in the torso here as well. That's really cool. Uh, I'll just go over articulation. I think I skipped a few, but they're all the same. Only in the shoulder, the hips, and this one has a little bit of a ball joint in the head. Right there. And you can do full 360. Can his head come off? Yes, his head comes off, and he's a gumball. Now let's take a look at the guns. Take a look at this little pistol right here. It's actually just pretty much like flat. It's got like the little mag on the side there, which is really cool. Although actually that kind of looks like it maybe sticks in to the side. That's what it looks like. Because I noticed over here, this looks like to be a little notch on his leg there, or a little, a little slot. So I'm kind of curious to see maybe... One of these can slot into that. Yeah. Slots in so you can have the pistol on the side there. That's really cool. And you can probably put this larger blaster. Let me get him to stand. He's not going to stand. I'll just lay him down. So this is actually really, really nice looking. Um, we have a little scope on the top up there, which is really cool. We've got a little mag on the side here. And this part is where it would clip into his side there. I guess a little, uh, the butt of the gun right there. Again, this is kind of like, you know, the flimsy, rubbery plastic. Uh, maybe we can put this one in his hand here. So that's cool. Don't move. You're under arrest. The First Order decrees it. But that is the First Order Stormtrooper. Again, any Star Wars fan has seen it. Uh, oh, yeah, if we take a look at this, there's that thing and that thing. Yeah, that's what they are. So let's put this guy aside, and let's grab another figure. Okay, so next up, we're starting to get into the beef, the beef and tomatoes, the meat and potatoes. Yeah, the meat and potatoes of everything. So next we have C-3PO, Human-Cyborg Relations. So we have uh, C-3PO has been in every single Star Wars film from, I guess, if you want to say episode one up until now. So that's cool. It's played by Anthony Daniels. That is the actor I do know. So uh, Anthony Daniels has been there since day one on the original trilogy, starting with Star Wars A New Hope. So that is really cool. We can take a look at him in packaging here, which is actually not bad. I think besides the Stormtrooper, this has to be the most detailed one of the batch, which is actually really nice looking. Uh, okay, then we got Star Wars, 4 and up, a picture of 3PO right there, C-3PO. And he doesn't come with anything, so you can't choke on it. So you got Disney and Hasbro. And again, same stuff on the back with different character. So let's open him up. Let's get him out of here. And let's take a look at 3PO. So he's got his golden eyes as usual. A lot of nice detailing in the face and in the head sculpt. Pretty much looks just like any of the old figures, which is actually really cool. Uh, I see in the elbow here, he's got his little piston joint right there. Uh, it's filled in with solid plastic. That's probably just for stability issues uh, or stability reasons. And uh, so maybe it doesn't break off. It would be cool if that wasn't there, though. Maybe if it moved up and down. But again, lower end figure, so it is what it is. And he's kind of got his little, like, oh my, type pose. Uh, the wiring detail is not too bad in here. 
Kind of looks like silly string or old cheese that's just lay, laid in there. So that's actually quite interesting, but it still looks really nice. He's got his usual, uh, I always call it the Star Trek radar. It's always reminded me of the radar dish from the original Enterprise, from the uh, original series. So that's actually cool. He has his regular arm back, as we saw at the end of The Force Awakens. He gets his regular arm back. It's not red, which I'm kind of glad because the red arm was kind of annoying, and we had no clue why he had the red arm. There was no explanation, unless there was a story about it. But, yeah. Uh, we have the hips and the knees. It's typical 3PO. Really nice detailing in the gears here. A little bit of, like, a piston right there. It's actually the circular pattern that goes on in the side of the kneecap. Uh, detailing in the toes, nice engraving in the mold there. So that's really cool. Captures his feet like perfectly. It's really nice. And again, we have the, the force band thing on the bottom. The force link, excuse me. And his back is pretty much the same. Well, not the same because I haven't gone over anything. But uh, you see he has the joints right there. He has his butt. He's got a. He's actually got a crack on there. That's quite interesting. We have more wiring going on through the back over here, and we have his little back piece right over here that Chewie uses to try and fix in the Empire Strikes Back. So, and the little thing on the back of his head. I guess that's like a port. I always forget. So that is C-3PO. Nothing too much about him. He doesn't come with anything again, but this thing is actually really nice in detail. This is probably my favorite one out of the uh, entire batch that I got. But. Um, We'll put him aside, and let's take a look at another figure. All right, now we're getting hot and heavy into the, the bigger action figures. Plus this one, we have, uh, well, minus this one, actually, we have three more. So next up, we have Kylo Ren, as played by Adam Driver. And uh, we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, Force Link, and we have him in there. And he's got his red lightsaber, which is really cool. He doesn't come with this helmet, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that besides the fact that he took it off and lost it. But, you know, maybe he might get another one. Don't know yet. Um, it says Star Wars here. Picture of Kylo Ren there with that scar that he got across his face uh, from The Force Awakens when he was dueling Rey. And definitely looks like he gets the cross guard lightsaber back. Looks like Ray cut it in half at the end of The Force Awakens, so maybe he rebuilds another one, or maybe it just cut off a piece of it and he fixed it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, Kylo Ren, Disney, Hasbro. I guess you can't choke on any of this, so there's no choking. And pretty much same thing on the back with different figure. So let's get him out of the packaging. Okay, so let's take a look at Kylo Ren. Look at the face. It's actually not a bad depiction of Adam Driver. kind of looks like a uh, cartoon version. He's got the scar that runs across. And it was said by the director, Ryan Johnson, that um, they decided to move the scar because they thought it was stupid going across the bridge of his nose, so they decided to put it across his eye instead. Which, to me, doesn't really make a difference. I mean, kind of copies Anakin Skywalker a little bit, but well, we kind of saw that coming. Sorry. Uh, the hair is actually not too bad. Nice wavy curls in there, or nice waves in there, actually. Take a look at that. Nice pattern going on with his uh, upper coat here as part of his uniform. It's actually really nice, and it's... You can hear that. Hold on. So there's a lot of nice detail in the mold there going on with his shirt. I don't know what you call that. That Let's just say the underside. Let's call this the underside. The underside of his cape. So that's really nicely detailed. You can actually see it with the light shining off of it. And then he's got his belt. His, it looks like a little symbol, but it's actually not. It's probably just a clip. Then we have the bottom part, which is the same thing. It's pretty much exactly what he wore in The Force Awakens. And his cape actually seems to have come off. I hope it didn't break. Okay, after double-checking, no, it didn't break. I guess it just comes off. So let's put that aside for one second and just take a look at the rest of the figure. So we have his boots, which is not bad. Nice detailing going on in the pants here, showing the wrinkles. And same thing with the boots. 
You can see the straps over here, which is really nice. So that's really cool. You can see a little detail going on right there as well. Take a look at his backside. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, from the back here, he kind of reminds me of uh, Dot Matrix from Spaceballs. So that's actually kind of funny. Uh, it's not too bad. I really like the way he looks. This actually isn't a bad, bad character at all. Let's take a look at the cape as well. Cape has a lot of nice detail on it. It almost gives it like that leathery look, which is really nice. It's not cloth and it's not really flexible. It's kind of just standard uh, with most action figures nowadays that come with capes. So that's that's okay. That's fine. I do like the old cloth capes that used to get with like the Batman characters. And as you saw, it does come off of him. So you can probably just slip it right back on like so. And just tuck it underneath his hairline. Maybe twist his head around. I don't know. And his hair, yeah, his hair probably just is what keeps it in place like that. Not too bad. It would be cool if maybe there was like a little latch or something. Like maybe there was a little extra ridge going on over here and on the other side that it kind of just clips right on. But having the hair hold it in place is actually not a bad idea. So that's actually kind of cool. That's that's a, a nifty little idea right there. And then we have his cross guard lightsaber, which kind of looks like he was about to break off. But uh, it's actually fairly nicely detailed. If we get him a little closer here. It's kind of bent a little bit, but that's usually typical when you take these things out of the package. They're always bent, or they look straight and they come out bent. But it is his cross guard lightsaber. And if we maybe pull out the hand here and pop this in his hand. And he's ready to fight. You can do your lightsaber effects like this. A ton of rotoscoping. Yeah, I know. That would be a pain. But that's actually really cool. So I wonder what type of role he's going to play in this movie. Is he going to be the same? Is he going to go to the light side? Is he going to continue to go down the dark path? Is he going to surprise us with something? So we won't know until the movie comes out. But uh, I overall really like this figure. This is really nice. So we're going to set him aside. We're going to grab another figure. Okay, so the next figure we have is Finn. Or FN2187. That's the only name he was given because he was taken from birth, if you haven't seen The Force Awakens. So it's played by John Boyega, who is starting to do really good for himself. Uh, I know he was in Detroit. I forgot what the name of the movie. I forgot what it was, but it looked like a good movie. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to wait till it comes out to uh, on Blu-ray to see it. He's also rumored to be in Pacific Rim 2, so I've never seen the first one, but I'm curious to see it. Uh, I'll take a look at packaging, Force Link, and we have Finn in there with a blaster. Star Wars, and a picture of Finn, a.k.a. John Boyega, ages 4 and up. And it says, Finn, Resistance Fighter, and Finn, Combatant de la Resistance. I'm still going to hell for that. Choking Hazard, probably for the gun. Uh, Disney and Hasbro, and same mumbo jumbo on the back. So let's crack this guy open. Now let's take a look at the figure. This doesn't really quite exactly look like John Boyega, but it's close enough. It's actually not that bad. It almost has his uh, facial sculpt on point, more or less, in terms of the shape. So that's not too bad. Like, I kind of wish they maybe would have lowered his eyebrows a little bit. I don't know if I can get that looking like that. But it does look a lot like him. The hair sculpt is actually really nice. You have the jacket, the Poe Dameron jacket. I wonder if he gets another one because Kylo Ren sliced his back open in The Force Awakens. So maybe he they give him another one. That's really cool. And uh, pretty much it looks like a little belt buckle of some sort, like a buckle of some sort. Uh, I guess a pocket up here. And you have the resistance looking things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. There's, you know, just the extra piece of the jacket, the red bit there and there. Uh, he almost kind of looks like in this picture he's sporting a Han Solo look. So I wonder if this has any clues. Is he going to become the next Han Solo type character? Um, cause he's got like the white shirt and he's got, he's got the pants and the boots. So 
I wonder what uh, if that signifies anything or that's just the outfit that he chose. So uh, we got the wrinkle in the pants here. The boots are like a brown color. Uh, yeah, there's not really much going on with this character. Articulation's all the same. Movement in the shoulder, movement in the hips, and that's it. Head is on a ball joint. Set him aside here. We have the gun. Nothing special. It's the gun. I wonder if this is a new gun in comparison to one that he used. It almost kind of looks exactly the same as the one that he used... Uh, in the Force Awakens, uh, this is actually painted more like a bronze, like a bronzish brown. So that's actually cool. And I kind of noticed it looks like there's a little notch right here. So is there a spot you can attach it on him? I don't see here. Lift up his jacket. Nope. So that just must be maybe a mag or something. Because I don't see any spots here that you can attach the gun to. There's no holster that came with him at all, so... Not sure. But, you know, you could put the gun in his hand here. So, you know, he's got his little battle pose. Alright, so let's put this guy aside. We have two more figures to go, and these are the ones I'm most excited for. So, let's put him aside, and let's grab the next figure. So, the next figure we have is Ray, And, um... Played by Daisy Ridley. Oh, I love her. She's she's something. But, um, yeah, she is the new Jedi in training. It even says on the side of the package here, which I'll show. In fact, let's just get right on with it. So we have Force Link. We have Rey in her new outfit. And she's also sporting a new hairstyle. Um, so she kind of ditched like that old loopy look that she had with her hair. And kind of went with a more down, down-haired look. So I wonder if that means she's like real serious about this Jedi training. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, she comes with uh, the pistol. She comes with her staff and the Graflex lightsaber. So that's really cool. Uh, Star Wars, ages four and up. There's a picture of Rey, a.k.a. Daisy Ridley. Uh, she's wielding the lightsaber uh, in kind of like a serious manner. Like, she, like she's ready to fight. So that's going to be quite interesting. As it says, Ray Jedi Training. Or I guess it would be J uh, Jedi Training Ray. Uh, Choking Hazard, Disney Hasbro. And again, same with the back, just different character. So let's get this open. Get Ray out. So this is actually probably the closest sculpt, maybe besides. I would say Adam Driver or Kylo Ren. This actually kind of looks a lot like Daisy Ridley, which is actually really nice. It, it just like, almost kind of looks like Michael Jackson in this figure, but that's just me. Um, we take a look. She's sporting the new hairdo. So it looks like a ponytail with her hair lying down in the back. Uh, if you remember in The Force Awakens, she had like the little loops going down, which I thought was really nice. Uh, look kind of like badass, almost like an innocent slash not so innocent type of type of look she had going on there. Uh, these are her new robes, her new robe, her new her new whatever you call it. Uh, it's all gray. I guess it's like a gray sash that goes around, uh, and then it kind of looks like black. I guess black armor underneath. And she's got her arms wrapped in a gray, I guess like a gray wrap. I don't know what it is, but like a gray cloth. Uh, she's got her belt that has a holster, I guess for the gun. So that's cool. And it wraps all the way around her. And she's got uh, gray pants and brown boots. So an articulation is the same in the hip, in the shoulder, in the head. Although this is kind of limited because her hair is long and covers the back. So this actually looks really nice. So we have the pistol that Han Solo gave her in The Force Awakens. This is actually not too bad. It's actually really nice and detailed. You can see there's little notches in the barrel. There's also notches and stripes going on in the main body. Uh, the staff has wrapping going on around it. And it's pretty much the same staff that she had in the first one. It's got this little uh, fixed strap to it. 
So there's some fairly nice detail going on in here. Take a look. Look at that. I really love the detail on the wrapping here. That actually looks really nice. And then let's get on to the lightsaber. These were always my favorite parts of getting any Jedi. And this is actually really nicely detailed, believe it or not. So that's cool. And it's blue. Got to go with the blue. And uh, let's get her set up here. So we can actually put, let's put the saber in her hand. Like so. Put the gun in the holster here. Okay, so off camera, I kind of really threw this together real quick, but the lightsaber is not really staying in her hand, but that's that's okay. We can pop that up there. There we go. So that's kind of what she looks like, all geared up and ready to go. And obviously, you can get Kylo over here and get them set up for like a little duel, you know, do like a little stop motion animation. So that'd be cool. Let's take one last look at Ray, which is really cool. I can't wait to see what she's going to be doing in the movie. And uh, hopefully it's going to be something absolutely amazing. So let's put Ray aside, and we got one more to go. So I saved one of the best for last. And uh, hopefully this won't give away any spoilers, but at this point it's all speculation. We have Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. So uh, this was the like one of the first ones that I found, and this was like... Uh, I, I was freaking out. I was shaking because I wanted to know what happens, but I'm trying to avoid all the spoilers. I'm going to shut up about that, and we're just going to take a look at the packaging real quick because I want to open this so badly. Uh, Force Link, and there he is in his white robes sporting the gray beard and gray hair. And then we have Star Wars, ages four and up. There's Luke Skywalker, also play, uh, played by Mark Hamill. Uh, who also voices the Joker in the original animated series as well as the video games of the you know the Batman video games. So that's something I just recently found out. I had a, I had no clue. That's awesome. Uh, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master. He's not a Jedi Knight. He's a Jedi Master. Uh, Disney Hasbro. Yeah. All right. I want to open this guy so badly. I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. Okay, so here we have Luke Skywalker. Again, he's kind of sporting the Jesus look a little bit, which is quite interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious if, is this like a reference or is this just because of the toy? So I'm not sure. But this kind of looks like a cartoon version of Mark Hamill, but it actually still looks like Mark Hamill. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. But this is actually really nice looking. Uh, I love the sculpt of the face, the shape and the shape. It's really nice. Uh, looks just like Mark Hamill. And again, he's sporting the, the gray hair and the gray beard. So, you know, he's old. Um, uh, he has a cape, which kind of comes off like that. It's pretty much similar to the Kylo Ren cape. It's got a hood molded into it. You know, it would be cool if you could take the hood and fold it over his head. So that's actually really cool. And it's kind of like flowy. Put that there. It'll stand on its own. And he's sporting the white robes, the brown belt. And it looks like a little notch right here. So I wonder what that notch could represent. Hmm, maybe we'll find out. Uh, it looks like he can hold something in his hand. But uh, if you've noticed, there's no accessories, which I'm going to mention something in one second. Uh, he's sporting his robotic hand. Uh, he lost it in The Empire Strikes Back with a duel with Darth Vader. That's how he also lost the Graflex lightsaber. Uh, he's got the white robes. Looks like it's like a little white sash going down here and on the other side as well. And he's sporting white boots with the uh, Force Link logo on the bottom there. I'm still curious to know how this all works out. I can't wait to see it. Uh, i got to find it. Um, pretty much uh, the legs are all like one piece, so there's no like separate legs. This doesn't peel back at all. And while we're on the topic, articulation in the hip, the shoulder, and the head. All the same. So this is really nice. Got the sash going down the back here. So we can put the cape on. I'm just slipping back into here like so. Want to feel nostalgic? You can take the Graflex lightsaber and maybe pop it in his hand here. 
So, Re- uh, so Luke is reunited with his lightsaber once again. Just not his hand. His hand is gone. And uh, the lightsaber also kind of has a little hook on the end. It's got like a little D-ring. And since he's got the little notch here, if I take the cape off... Make it look like it's hanging on there. Although, obviously, you can't really do that unless maybe you get two of these and you get like an additional lightsaber and you cut the blade off. So, uh, I don't recommend doing that you know, unless you want to spend money, but that's up to you guys. So, this is actually probably like my one of my favorite figures out of all of them. This and Ray are probably like my two of the fa- favorite out of this batch. So, that's cool. Take one last look at Luke, put his cape back on, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. Those are all the figures I was able to grab. There was Poe Dameron, but I didn't get to grab him. Uh, I kind of was in a bit of a hurry once I found him. I didn't want them to take him away from me, so I grabbed all the figures I could, and I went up to the register and bought everything, so uh, that's really cool. So there you guys have it, the last Jedi action figures that haven't even been revealed yet, uh, unless there was a leak that I didn't know about, but again, I'm trying to avoid all leaks and spoilers. Uh, It's so exciting to be able to get my hands on these this early. And these figures are so cool, I can't wait to see what else comes out. Are they going to do a Black Series version of these, which I know they are. Um, I'm curious to see what all these characters are going to be doing, what roles they're going to play, who lives, who dies. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention about Luke Skywalker. If you notice, he comes with no accessories whatsoever. It's just Luke Skywalker. Um, there was rumor that he's supposed to have his original green lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. But obviously, in this packaging, there was no lightsaber. It was just Luke Skywalker. So, does he use his lightsaber? Does he still have his lightsaber? Does he help Rey train with that lightsaber as well? So that's one thing, believe it or not, the, the most interesting thing I want to know about this movie is, does he have his lightsaber? Does he wield the old Graflex lightsaber, the blue lightsaber? So that's one thing that I am dying to know out of this entire film. I don't care if the movie's three hours long. I want to find out in that, those three hours, does he use a lightsaber? Do we see him fight? Will he die? Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's that's the one thing I'm most excited about for this movie. So I'm so excited for it to come out. Uh, I want to know if you guys are excited for this movie. Do you want to see more of this stuff? Because I plan on spending every last penny that I have to buy this stuff and uh, premiere it on here. Um, so... So one little thing I want to mention to you guys before I go. Uh, sorry for the lack of content. Uh, we had filmed about three, two, three, four, no, about three videos, but we ran into some technical difficulties and the footage had to be deleted, unfortunately. It was unusable. So we are going to reshoot some of that as soon as possible. But uh, as soon as I saw these figures, I had to buy them. I had to get them. I had to get them up straight away. I kind of wanted to be the first one to get these out there. So... That uh, that was just like luck. And I was about to do a video saying that we weren't going to have anything for a while, that we apologize, but I think this kind of makes up for it in my opinion. Uh, also, we are actually going on vacation starting next week. It will be gone. We'll be going away to Europe um, to visit uh, some people. So I look forward to that, and we're going to do some hunting out there as well. Um, so I look forward to seeing what we can find in Europe. Uh, if you guys liked this video, which I hope you did, because this was an amazing find. I'm so excited. I've rarely ever had this happen to me before. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe to us. Uh, leave us comments, any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, if you want to see something we might have in our collection, we will do a review on it. If not, we will go out and buy it because we have no money. That's exactly what we do. So we hope to see you guys in the next one. I can't wait for Star Wars, and I hope you all have a great day.